I don't know. It just like screams Thanksgiving. Yeah. Like my mouth know. is like, ooh, Thanksgiving. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Kat and Dev from Two Market Girls, and welcome to a very special bonus video. Yes, you are so lucky you get two videos today, but not really just two videos because this video is a part of a pretty big collab, again organized by the amazing Lisa at the Viet Vegan. Woo! If you guys don't know who she is, what are you doing? Yeah, what? Like, what? Come on. In honor of American Thanksgiving coming up, Lisa decided to do a Thanksgiving themed collab and we were invited to join. So we made something special for you guys today. Yeah. What did something we make? Something really intense. Mm -hmm. um, this was all Devin's brilliant idea. <laughs> I was skeptical, <laughs> but it's delicious. We made a Thanksgiving lasagna. What? Yeah. It's like, I think it's so perfect because it's kind of a combination of all the sides you would typically have at a Thanksgiving but made into a meal. Like you're not just eating sides, mm -hmm. you're eating an actual meal. Make sure you go check out everyone else's recipes as well. There's a wide range of Thanksgiving Thanks. awesomeness. This sounds so good. Yes. Like there's gonna be like a mac and cheese or something like mm -hmm. that, but like, oh my God. So yeah, the playlist will be linked, you know, all around, everywhere. Be sure to check them out, show them some love. Leave some comments, share their videos, you know, all the stuff you do for a YouTuber. But first, Let's make this lasagna. Yes. We're gonna start by prepping all our ingredients. So for the green bean mushroom mixture, we're using half regular mushrooms and half dehydrated mushrooms. Um, so you're gonna want to get those dehydrated mushrooms soaking in boiling water for about 10 minutes so that they can soften. And you're just gonna dehydrate about a cup of mushrooms. While those soften, you can prep your sweet potatoes by giving them a peel and then dicing them into small squares so that they cook quicker. You're gonna grab about a handful of green beans and dice them into really small pieces. Uh, you should get about a cup and a half of green beans diced up once they're done. So then you're going to slice up your mushrooms. You're gonna slice up about a cup of mushrooms into small dices about the same size as your green beans. And you're gonna do the same thing to your dehydrated mushrooms once they've rehydrated. And now we're just gonna chop up our mix-ins for the potato mash. So you're gonna chop up about a half cup of parsley into just really rough chops. And then we're gonna roughly chop about a cup of spinach. And next step is to boil some water and add your sweet potatoes to the boiling water and allow to cook in that for about 10 to 15 minutes or until they're fork tender. To saute your green bean and mushroom mixture, you're going to add about a tablespoon of avocado oil to a hot pan and add your green beans and all your mushrooms into it and just allow those to cook and steam with the lid on for about 10 minutes. And then at this point, we can add in about a half a box of lasagna noodles into our water and just cook according to the instructions on the box. Now that our potatoes are fork tender, we're gonna drain the water and mash those with a potato masher until creamy. And then we're gonna add about a half cup of non-dairy milk and three tablespoons of avocado oil and mix that all in. And then we're gonna add in about a third cup of nutritional yeast, a tablespoon of garlic, a tablespoon of onion powder, and your parsley. And then you're gonna mix that all in together. Uh, and then last but not least, we're gonna add our chopped spinach into it. The heat from the potatoes should still wilt it well enough. If not, it'll get wilted once it's in the oven. Once your noodles are done, you can drain the water and just let them sit. I would rinse them in a little bit of cold water so that they're easy to handle when you're making your lasagna. And now we're gonna assemble our lasagna. So start with a layer of noodles and then you're gonna do quite a thick layer of the potato mixture because it's mostly the bulk of the dish. Then you're gonna do a thin layer of the mushrooms and green bean mixture. And then we added a thin layer of vegan mozzarella cheese. And you're gonna repeat that. We did about three layers. On the top layer, you're gonna add more amounts of it, whatever's left over, just kind of add that to the top layer. And then you're gonna cover that with some aluminum foil and bake in an oven preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes. Uh, the last 10 minutes, I removed the tin foil cover and allowed it to bake just open. And we are topping ours with our mushroom gravy that we made back in our loaded sweet potato video, which you can see somewhere in this video, in the corner somewhere. 
Um, we, the only changes that we made to that recipe is we added a little extra broth to it and blended it in our Vitamix blender so that it became really, really smooth and easy to pour. Lasagna is definitely one of my favorite foods. Mm -hmm. Before I was vegan, lasagna was like mm. everything in my life. <laughs> Whoa. I love lasagna. I don't remember the last time I've had lasagna. Yeah. I think that this is only the second time I've made lasagna since going vegan. Mm. So me and lasagna have been out of touch for a while. But this is so yes. good. It's like a whole new take on lasagna, but delicious. I feel like people aren't going to want to eat turkey at Thanksgiving. They're going to want to eat this. Yeah, they're so. going to be jealous, but let me just taste this to make sure. <laughs> we should both taste it. Yes. Yes, I haven't eaten it. <laughs> okay. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. It's so good. Mm. Mm. It's kind of, in a way, just a lasagna version of our sweet potato we made, but it's so good. Mmm. I love the gravy. Mm -hmm. There's some other flavor in there. I think it must be in the sweet potatoes that oh. is, I don't know, it just like screams Thanksgiving. Yeah. Like my mm -hmm. mouth is like, ooh, Thanksgiving. <laughs> you don't feel like you're missing out on anything? No. And you could add like some sort of fake turkey mm -hmm. or something like that to this and I think it would be delicious. Yeah. So. And the thing I like about this one is that it's easy to make a smaller portion or a bigger portion, depending mm -hmm. on how many people you're planning on feeding with this. Yes, our recipe makes about a nine by nine square inch dish. Um, so you can double that if you're making it for like your whole giant big family, mm -hmm. or you can half it if you just need some meals for the week, yeah. you know? Plus it's the kind of thing where you could like make the different components and then build it closer to, t to the time. Cause like mm -hmm. for me, when I'm at a family dinner, there's only so much stovetop space. So I try to get as much done at home before I go to the dinner. And honestly guys, we like gave you three different dishes in one. Cause if you don't want to make lasagna, the sweet potato mash is delicious on its own. Mm -hmm. Make that. Or the green, green bean mixture. Yeah. Delicious on its own. The gravy, delicious on its own. Now we know <laughs> this one sounds really, really good, but we definitely advise you to check out the other ones because they're going to be just as good. We, so. we were reading what people were planning on making and like drooling while we were reading it. So. Definitely go check them out. We know we'll be making their recipes yes. for sure, so. And if you're new here, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Hit that subscribe button, cause we make awesome videos like this every single Sunday. I know it's Wednesday today, but we make recipes every single Sunday and whatever Wednesdays, every other Wednesday. Mm. So mm. be sure to stick around. Yeah, welcome yeah. friends. And we have an amazing How to Vegan the Holidays coming up for December. Second, the second year in a row, man. We're yeah, doing it. Season and, two. And this year it looks pretty epic. Yeah. The recipes we have planned, so stay tuned. Also, if you need a dessert for Thanksgiving this weekend, I think it's this weekend, we have a dessert recipe coming out on Sunday. Yes. So you're gonna wanna try that out too. We got you covered. Yes. All right, let's go. Yeah, we're talking about it. I gotta go eat this. You gotta eat. Messy. Uh, well, uh. <laughs> I need, oh, get, I need to get any of that, and now my mouth is like full of saliva because I wanted it so <laughs> Okay, we should probably just leave this rolling uh, for like five minutes after we finish talking because things like this happen. That was the worst thing ever.